everybody, welcome to the three-way podcast hump day show. Uh, this is JP, Linkster 101. That is Lowe's, Public Enemy 59. Uh, you can find us on Twitter. Um, welcome to our review of Stranger Things Season 3. Uh, so I'm not going to be very uh, um, going over all the episodes. I think this, this show is popular enough. Um, we are on season three. Um, I do recommend that you watch the first two because if, I think if you jump in, you watch the third one, you're going to be a bit lost, um, especially when, when everything, the action picks up. I feel like this, this season was a lot more action packed than two. I think two took forever until the last episode to finally get that action going. This one was more action oriented. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we picked off where they left off. The kids are, are a little bit older, uh, mm -hmm. you know, too, too, too many fucking kids, man. Way too many um, damn kids. Way too fucking many. <laughs> like, I'm talking about at least seven, eight kids. Like, uh, they, they did a time jump, too. Just to, yeah. Because the, them kids are getting big real fast. Well, I don't know how the how much the time <laughs> jump was. It was a year. A year? Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it was a year, and it just didn't seem like it was a year. It should have been more. It should have been, like, two or three years. Because no, it, it, worked. it worked for me. Yeah, I, I mean, it like, was fine. A year, okay. Well, uh, essentially, we pick up where we left off. Of course, all the kids are doing their teenage things, and uh, we go through this whole aspect of like, and it's just the first episode where it just touches base on everybody, which I thought was very cool. Like, yeah, that first episode quickly. was like, it was just pretty much like, it literally felt like the first episode of season eight of Game of Thrones, where everybody's like, hey, we're meeting up for the first <laughs> time in a long time. How's it going, baby? Yeah, but it felt like that, but. <laughs> but it was I, I quick. Was, I was really uh, having like uh, like bad thoughts about that. I was like, "Fuck, this is gonna end terribly." <laughs> like, well, I mean, like in Game of Thrones, <laughs> they, they touched base on everybody, and then yeah. they, they brought everybody together. And so the very next episode, it just hits off running. We find out that the Mind Flayer, of course, well, was still in our world. We find out why it's in our world because the gate is still open. Yeah, we find out and like there was a, there was a lot of like I guess want to say like eighties type of style tropes yeah. in this uh, you uh got season. Terminator. Like, you got Terminator. Like there was a lot balls. of like uh like oh Russians are the bad guys and then like we gotta stop them kind of stuff. They're doing like secret stuff. Uh there was a lot of like uh yeah like the the whole thing with this one guy he was like basically like a low budget Terminator guy. <laughs> uh but yeah like that their first couple like the, okay the first two episodes were a little bit slow for me. It but it, it did pick up later on. Um like <clears throat> For me, the, the the parts where where they it, it felt like I'm like okay, so these there's doors, different areas of the world, and then the main door is here where all these kids are, all the damn kids are at, and I'm like, oh, that, that's a little bit too convenient, but I guess that's the yeah. way like you will keep getting these kids involved in the situations that keep getting involved in, and then it's like. Uh, they're they're like opening the door. There was a lot that it was not explained. Like, how do they know how to do well, all this stuff? How do they the, know to go look for these like doors like this? And, and it I was, was just a like, pothole. Uh, I think it's just a small pothole. I mean, you don't have to get into it. They basically just want to focus on the kids. Mm -hmm. um, maybe in the future they can go ahead and explain that. They didn't do much explanation throughout the whole. Episode. No, I mean, how the whole, figure that out? I mean, I guess we can put that under. You know, some of the things we didn't like. Uh, you're right. Kind of putting the Russians in there. Yeah, 80s trope big time, but they did say that they were working with the mayor and they they bought that land specifically, yeah. you know, and, and made it as a mall. But the whole reason was because they knew, how do they know exactly who knows, but <laughs> they found out there was a, a hole there, uh, you know, so that's how they, but no, I mean- and, that, and, and there was the another door in Russia. Like, nah, but speaking, speaking of finding holes, Fucking Mike and Eleven were all over each other, man. Dude, boy, Mike was, was like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, boy. I, I, was, <laughs> I felt like, I was like, uh, that's a bit too much. Like, <laughs> like I don't know, maybe because. Nah, what, it, for what, me, it made me rem like reminded me of like when being a kid, you know, first time kind of. That's stuff. what it reminded me. Yeah, yeah. I was like, ah, okay, I get it, but it was something too that they they had to learn. Like you see it throughout the the season that you know it can't just be like that the entire time. You gotta like split up your time you can't just like waste all your time on one person the entire time but i did like that aspect like where they went from like completely like 
utterly like like dismantling their friendship with the other kids because like like Mike, all he yeah. wanted to do is fucking tongue wrestle with Eleven. And it's not and, just him. Yeah. It's the other kid. What's oh, Lucas. Lucas, Lucas, Lucas and, Max. and Max. Yeah. And it shows like the, the, the relationships. And then, of course, we know that Dustin has like a fake girlfriend uh, at the very Oh, beginning. yeah. Dustin comes back from some like summer vacation where he's mm-hmm. like, yeah, I got a girlfriend. But she's now, real. Blah, blah, blah. And she's oh, real. <laughs> can I just put that in one of the things I really just liked about the show was the whole singing part in the middle yeah. of the singing this part. tense yeah where his situation singing with his damn girlfriend over the radio and they do a whole song what it was in the middle of a tense situation and you bring this song into it hey, a man, music that's how videos are what do you expect like what the fuck? like you trying to get like, shit done totally and they're over here wanting the extra Look, everything was cool with his relationship <laughs> with the girl him talking to the girl finally great her knowing her being smart enough to know that damn code but then you sing bro that just shit that shit threw me the fuck out that's like to me the worst part of of the whole season but that's and that's I, what you used to, that's what you used to do Lowe's, remember honestly and, honestly I, I feel like the one of the worst parts of this of this season was the the storyline with uh with jonathan and nancy where they were working yeah, at the it newspaper just, that really was it had no it had no consequence whatsoever no consequence in the whole story like I that never story that, that that storyline that made no sense it felt like it was just put in there just to have them like have some kind of like their as own fan drama. service like as fan service because like, eh. they've been there since don't the get me wrong anytime i get to see nancy on screen oh no i'm a okay with nah, that good. but but uh you're right it, in the end, nothing even happens with the newspaper, right? Like, mm-hmm. did she even go to the rival newspaper yeah. or anything? Well, like, I mean, the main, so the it, main... it doesn't really amount to anything. It's just it a really bunch did of it. fucking no. guys trashing Nancy for half the season. Like, uh. yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. the main villain, the main villain of the season are. <laughs> but they did people. die though. <laughs> yeah. Um, the That's main villain in, in the season has it was two people. It was basically. The mind flayer and Billy, who we see uh, a story of redemption for Billy, I guess. Uh, so Billy is uh, uh, is doing all these things for the mind flayer. The mind flayer takes a whole care control of a whole bunch of people, and then they yeah. just start uh, melting. I thought that was like the most coolest and grossest shit is when they start melting. Uh, and- the, some of the best effects for sure I've seen on the show was when they're like yeah. falling and just like like burst and melt and yeah oh, like, oh shit, when when they started like mel- uh like uh yeah like uh, joining melding up with, with, uh, the with the mind flare, flare. yeah mind yeah. flare yeah so uh these kids go through an adventure of course we it's so many characters man, yeah there was there was base. a lot of separate storylines going on with dustin and steve and this I, new character robin uh where they were like uh they found like this this the the russian like secret code they, they code break it and they find out that the mall that the they dish they just built was actually built by the russians in order to use like uh, a secret underground facility facility for the for the door to find for the other for the upside down and like i thought that 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 whole situation was kind of entertaining i did not like that little girl lucas's little sister i found her so annoying <laughs> so she was annoying, there to annoy bro. she was there literally to this annoy bro engagement. This is uh-uh. like bro yeah like, but it's kind of true so little sister annoying. little brother they annoy and that's exactly what she did so. i don't know i don't have no brothers sisters thank god <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, like, but, uh, let's uh-huh. go into our favorite part. Y'all want to go into our, or y'all, y'all still got something to try? Oh, I, I got, I got a lot of deep into. <laughs> it. Man, but it's, look, it's honestly, whatever. whatever. Uh, well, at the end of the season, of course, uh, Elle loses uh, some of her powers because she uses a lot of her powers to to do a lot of seeking, a lot of helping. Um, well, yeah, like course, uh, like eleven, eleven, like she or L, she's like okay. After the whole thing with Mike, they separate because Mike like ends up like getting like the the dad talk from Hopper. And like, that's a dad talk. That's not a dad talk. <laughs> when he was yelling at him, he come through. Anyways, like, the, the, from there is where you really see like uh, Elle like uh, uh, growing as a person, as her own individual person. Uh, thanks to Max as well, and Max also like breaks up with uh, Lucas, and she goes on her own thing too. And then it goes to where, uh, yeah, she she starts using her powers the wrong way, where she's like spying on the on the other guys. And then it goes into her using her powers, of course, to save them, to help them. But then she ends up like using up her powers, like like trying to stop the mind flare when he's at like at full strength. 
and yeah. like he was coming for them and like trying to and like basically the whole what well, we find out the whole situation in this in this uh, uh season is that the mind flare was after 11 like he she he knows or it knows that she's the only one who can really stop him but okay on that part i was like what the fuck happened to the other kids that would have powers hello like I mean, what the that's fuck why happened to that, ep- that that episode in season two was stupid and it had no point in being there it really it didn't no- they, they really trying to like push that shit under the rug like it never happened yeah and but so if you're gonna introduce that shit fucking continue with it at least i mean she needs help and you're like well they don't exist anymore like yeah what, what is that I mean, it is what it is. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of plot holes, but the, the instance of the of the season is really good. As far as uh, what I uh, one last thing that I did not like mm-hmm. um, was the fact that um, Hopper mm-hmm. um, is like an angry dude all the fucking time, just what about bullshit. Like it got annoying. Like it felt like he didn't know how to control his anger. Like all these season one and two, he's been like under stress and he's learned how to be calm and and to make decisions. And in this season, he's just like, meh, 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 meh. <laughs> it's like, dude, what the fuck? Did you know what you're doing? So I just, yeah, I, it's I, crazy. Yeah, to, to be around a person like that all the time. No, <laughs> be around a person who's fun. <laughs> Not like you. You're a dumbass. You're a follower. Oh shit! Look who's getting oh. mad. Let me go jump on him. Look who's bursting. But uh, uh, essentially, um, the. The whole thing with Hopper, I think it was just he was just well, love. He was, he I was think struggling they were pushing like that, being that, a dad. That storyline. He was I did feel he was struggling it was sad being a in dad. the end, and he was That's struggling my... like like trying to trying to keep L like young still, but she was growing up, so he was struggling with that that whole situation. No, but in the end, that was one of my favorite parts when finally him and uh, Joyce are like finally okay. That that was a cool part where she's yeah. like, you know, pick me up at seven. Dude, you know, they were forcing surprised. that storyline, man. <laughs> no, because Joyce three was still, seasons? still like, this like crying over uh, what's his name that died this previous yeah, season. Yeah, she was, she was, she was crying over Sam Wan G- and Gamgee from Lord of the Rings. Hey, and she, <laughs> and she over here like, the squad. Squad. <laughs> well, well, I mean, then, <laughs> and then when she sacrifices him to close the hole, and he, okay. you know, like yeah. that was pretty sad, man. And then you see they uh, can't bring him back. They can't bring him back. No, with the way they now uh, struggling with that too, and the letter he like, come on, that, that was that's what I'm saying. And, mm-hmm. and they, they cannot, for sure. they cannot bring him back because remember at the end, there's a clip where like, oh, don't put the American in there because they go to like a Russian uh, prison, yeah. a Russian prison camp, and there's like an oh, American yeah. there. Yeah. They don't show what it is. They, they they infer that it's Hopper. They better not because I don't know. the way it, it could the be way anybody. They, yeah, but, I think it's yeah. Hopper to be honest. Uh, to be, Damn. I hope they don't because it messes with he's, the storyline. He, he's too big. He's too big of a character just to kill off yeah they need to kill off all their kids though that's why it hits a a way too damn many look i will say this the one kid that needs to be taken away from the show is will will yeah will needs to go will needs Uh, to go there's no point he's his whole he there's no point in him being there he's not really a big factor in the group not anymore Um, yeah, not anymore. I think moving forward i feel feel it (laughs) he's cool (laughs) like bro that's (laughs) spider sense Nah, I, I, what he needs to do. after this, I feel like he needs to be apart from the kids. He and, needs to leave. No, Will, Will he, needs to die. Jonathan needs to die. Both of them, they're brothers. No, <laughs> they think, need to die. I think he he's important because he was that one still trying to hold on to their childhood. Yeah, and the big he, he really was trying to hold on to them was, still being kids. A big yeah. theme was of, throughout the season was them trying to show that these kids are not kids no more. They're growing up. They're teenagers now. Yeah. You know they're gonna be in relate just like um, uh, uh, what's his name told um, uh, Will that you know what did you expect that we we're never gonna have girlfriends that we were gonna play D and D and he's like yeah yeah, yeah Mike. Mike told him that so yeah uh, I think that was a big theme and and I think Will you know kind of help with that theme because he was the one still trying to hold on to you that know, you know what I caught too when they were having that discussion is that I don't know if they're gonna go that direction, but they were like, "It's not my fault you don't like girls." And I was like, "Yeah, wait, I, what?" I, I, I thought they were gonna go that direction too. Uh, Thank but, God they didn't. They I don't didn't. know. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But I don't know. That was funny though when I when I heard that. Well, and then, and then but then they they also th- threw a little curveball too with the whole relationship between Steve and Robin, and then like 
They made it yeah. seem like they were falling for each other. And my boy Steve, yeah, you know, he tried to get it in. I was like, and then all no, of a sudden she's, she's like, like, I do really <laughs> like you, and I'm and I'm, I'm amazed by it. Or I forget what she says, but you know, but like, okay, so you do like him, but you're. But she liked pussy. <laughs> she liked pussy. <laughs> she does. I, I think that was dumb too. That was. I don't dumb. know, but I, mean, I, I do. Why? I did like her character though. I I think I, I, her I liked her character, and you know what? I, like I found out character. afterwards is that That's she's why I'm uh, She's Ethan Hawke's daughter. Yeah, she's Ethan Hawke's daughter. I was daughter. like, oh shit, and like I so, didn't realize that. Well, let, let's go ahead and, and give our, our Nancy. quick, okay, our Nancy's quick, still our quick uh, nah, takes on Nancy's what we liked. Bottom of the barrel. What I really liked, I really did enjoy <laughs> the villain this time. I really did enjoy the mind flare, the way it took over, and yeah, how close it was. really cool. I the really Russians. liked it. I like the Russians. I liked how they stuck to the '80s stand, like Vice City. Oh uh, yeah. Like, that, mm -hmm. And like the music was good too. Mm -hmm. uh, the music is like from 80 songs I've not really really heard a lot, um, but mm -hmm. they were still good. Um, uh, what you th What do you think about uh, Billy uh, sacrificing himself trying to save the other kids? Honestly, I think Billy's the American. What do you mean Billy's the American? You know the American that's locked up with the Russians? I think that's no. it. No, no, there's no way. Billy got straight up stabbed by uh, that the mind flare. There's no way. And they Honestly, saw him die right in front of them. He he has no point in the story to be honest. Uh, he was supposed to be the villain last season, um, so for them to come to villain now, cool. I, I never really liked him as a character. Um, I thought I don't know maybe because I mean he did play his part well as a douche, but mm -hmm. this season I, I just wasn't really. I, I could care I less. Mm -hmm. I, I liked him more this season. I, I, I get mm -hmm. what you're saying about him last season, just being that douchebag. But this season, I thought it actually there was a reason for all of it. I mean. Mm -hmm. He's that guy that was trying to pick up the the older ladies, you know what I mean? At the yeah. pool, the I like that. You know, Them he's just living his life. Yeah. And, Them mills. Mike was, oh, Mike's mom was go. about to give it up to him too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, I, I can't, see. Oh, I can't. I was ready I for that scene. She was. Now, mm. but then, uh, but, but then, uh, no, and it kind of goes into his backstory too. Like, why is he uh, believing? Yeah. Because his dad yeah. was a fucking douchebag. So, yeah. um. No, I liked him a lot better this season. Him being under control by the mind player, uh, mm -hmm. being used, and then him sacrificing himself at the end. I thought it was a J. I thought it was a J. I, I, I. Some parts did bother me that they had branching storylines, but it did all come to fruition when they joined everybody together in the end, mm -hmm. and we're like, boom! Everybody's teaming up. Everybody's together. I really like that. Yeah. Um, the other things, some some jokes fell flat. Uh, but for the most part, it was a funny uh, season. Mm -hmm. I really liked a bunch of the jokes and the the you know the the stuff they had. So for the most part, it was funny to me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what else did I like? Uh, uh, I like the relationships they established. Mm -hmm. um, other than you know, homegirl not going for uh, for C? for. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's like, but other than that, uh, other that than food, that, yeah, like that food cannot find love, man. Nah, man, he keeps getting maybe next season, left and maybe right. maybe season but, four. But uh, for me, I, I overall I liked this season. I think it was a good season. Uh, there's definitely going to be a season four. Yeah, uh, not honestly, not better than one, but better than two for sure. But yeah, honestly, sure. I feel this man. As much as I like Stranger Things, it feels like it should be the movie too. Like it feels like it has that vibe to it. Like, like if, if you think about like the, everything that happened, it could be mm -hmm. in a movie. But oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know if they're gonna do that. I don't know how long they're gonna continue this series. Uh, but they I, honestly, mm -hmm. I think just four seasons and that's it. About four seasons. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it. man. That's it. I wouldn't be popular. surprised. I don't if, know. I wouldn't be surprised if they did a season four and then five years later they did a season five. Like, and while they're all like really grown. Like, you know how they're, uh, I mean, it's kind of weird to compare it to it, but they go come back to it. Oh, uh, I see what you mean. Yeah, but yeah. I think they'll do the same nah. thing with the same actors throughout the years and keep making Stranger Things. Let them take like a couple years off and do another one. Like, I, I could see okay. that happening. Because yeah. everybody loves these characters. I love these characters. Yeah, they're like very characters. relatable. They they're, just got too many you know, damn kids. They need to start cutting some, yeah. some damn of kids. Well, they're about, not about to be kids so much longer. You know, well, get yeah, ready. I mean, I think, what was it? Um, Will, Jonathan, and uh, Joyce are leaving. They sold the house and they're leaving at the end of uh, the episode. And they the leave season. with L. They leave with and, L. And they yeah. take L with them since Hopper is quote unquote dead. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe that's where we see more of the other kids again. 
perhaps they're like we fucked up in the season two we're gonna retry to do it in season four i don't know but I, I honestly would like to see more of the other kids with powers versus just having them run around and fucking chunk well maybe they, that's where players. they're going with this now that the, you know it's gonna be multiple cities you know okay. yeah, they might they might try to expand the world and mm-hmm. please try, don't. maybe uh you know please get don't. in touch just, with just keep it basic on somebody else who has keep powers it simple in. right now she doesn't have powers is it gonna come back is it not oh i'm pretty sure it's gonna we'll come see. back yeah they're gonna come back but uh so, yeah, so, so let's rate it let's rate it uh i rate i'll give it a nine out of ten i thought it was very oh. entertaining oh, um, okay I'll give it. I'll give it a nine simply because of the plot holes. There's some plot holes that they did not cover, but the majority they did, and and I did enjoy the characters. I did enjoy the show. It was a fun watch. I binge watched that motherfucker. Yeah, I watched and every episode. So I, I really fun. enjoyed it. Um, would I be willing to watch the seasons again? Of course. Oh yeah, um, I think this, I'm gonna run watching. through them all three just to just to have fun because it's, it's a fun <laughs> show, man. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Eli, what you giving it? Uh, I'm giving this like a uh, like. Probably like a 7.5 out of 10. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, okay. It's a, it's a good season. It's a good show, but yeah, yeah. Um, it has some faults. Yeah. I don't know. It's just a, it was just a lot of things that it could have been better, but they did. I don't know. Maybe for yeah, time. Yeah, Maybe because these kids are being too popular now. They're doing their own thing. I know Hopper, the guy who plays Hopper, is like, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 that that stupid devil thing. What's it called? Oh, hell, oh, hell boy. boy. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not. not... But he is doing something else coming yeah, up. Yeah, he's doing David some other Harvard. shit too. He's doing else. But anyways, yeah, I'll give it that. And uh, I mean, it's not terrible. It doesn't have to be like a perfect higher or a higher score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. number and really just still be enjoyable. But you know what's fucking trash? The, the Umbrella Academy, bro. This shit is fucking one point. Fucking Umbrella Academy. One out of like a bro, thousand. Bro, I told this you. Fucking no, garbage. honestly, it would be better. <laughs> it would be better. It would be better. <laughs> it would be better. <laughs> <laughs> they did not have that sorry oh ass God. actor Ellen Page. If they yeah, did not I didn't like Ellen what they Page, did with that. Man, we could we could do a whole so different thing. <laughs> yeah, we could try something. No, but uh, I'm giving <laughs> it um, an 8.75. It's not perfect. Uh, uh, 8.75. Yeah, uh, I think there's those little parts in the, that just like annoy me, and I'm like, why is this mm-hmm. there? Why that wasn't mm-hmm. necessary? But for the most part, like like y'all say, it's enjoyable. It was fun to watch. Yeah. I'm invested in these characters. Yeah. It was a great ending. I think they ended it off very well. Better than Game um, of Thrones. Way it, better than Game yeah, of Thrones. Yeah, okay, yeah. And, and come on, give Steve a girlfriend, man. For, for, for real, stop hoeing yeah. Steve, bro. Like he done he so much for in. those kids. Like he saved their lives. He, yeah. He's almost died he's the, for them. He's the world's D- best babysitter right here, taking care of everybody. Look. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching our review on Stranger uh, Things season three. Uh, keep an eye out for our Monday podcast, our, our normal uh, uh, three-way podcast show. We are on YouTube, Spotify, Anchor, iTunes. Uh, of course, please support our friend uh, JRX4 at Twitch, whatever, whatever, whatever. Twitch at TV4 have- slash JRX4X. Hey, speaking of video games, did you fucking play that fucking Stranger Things three game? Y'all were fucking flaming me on. Uh, nah, yeah, shut the I hell up. Shut the hell switch. up. I told you this shit's garbage. Thank you. Thank you. I don't Thank have you. a switch. Thank you. I don't I was, have a switch. Was gonna get it Enough said. Like, <laughs> you were right, Elias. You were right. I knew it to you. You were right. playing that shit. What? All right. All right, then. All right, guys. Well, peace out. Have a good, wonderful fucking day. See ya. Bye. Peace.